Hi, I'm Matt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we're delirious today, but we are at the YouTube space. Yes, we in are. In a woodland fantasy set. Yes, thing. that looks out onto Pagus Road. So, <laughs> welcome to Woodland News. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Well, on this, the is, news this, this is an update. This is an update. You may remember uh, that a couple of weeks ago, uh, we did a public apology, or rather, <laughs> I, I did, uh, about this image from this video. Uh, and during the public <laughs> apology, while, while we were on the bench here, uh, as, we, as we were riffing back and forth, um, as we do, I said, if you've been affected by the issues in this video, please call and I put a number on screen. Yeah. Uh, originally, I was just going to use one of the Ofcom drama numbers there. Which is like, like one, a 555 number in America. Yeah. It's, it's a fake number. It's so, a guaranteed never to connect number. And then I realised I could do that. <laughs> so I set up a number. Uh, and this is the tale of why I'm never doing that again. What, what was the message on the end of um, the message? Can we play that out to the people that yeah, we, didn't we can, phone it up? Yeah, we, we can play that out. So it's, yeah, it's expensive about, and stuff. Yeah, about 30 seconds long, it sounded like this. Hello, thanks for calling the support line for that image from that video. Matt and I are sorry that you've been affected by that image from that video. If I'm honest, though, we were just improvising on the park bench. I wouldn't actually go to the trouble of setting up a support line, recording a personalised voicemail greeting, buying a phone number, and then bothering to set it all up so it actually works, just so you could get an Easter egg for calling the number in a video. Okay, yeah, I, I totally did do that. Thanks very much for calling, glad you like the park bench, and I'll see you soon on the internet. I'd like to point out, I knew nothing about this, I knew nothing what, what he was even going to apologise you. Oh about. yeah, he, yeah, he you told went me to that cold, didn't you? He said at the beginning of the video, uh, can you just do a serious introduction, please? And, and then just follow my lead. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to set, I was, didn't know I was going to do the number joke. Um, which, <laughs> you which came up with it on the fly. Yeah, which just to explain, um, like when there were very special episodes of British TV soaps or something like that, where there, you know, someone got attacked or someone was dealing with depression or something like that, that would be the continuity announcement over the end of the programme. There would be someone in a, in a, can I get a continuity announcer, Mike? Uh, my... If you get too close, it clips. I'll, I'll, it'll be fine. If you've been affected by any of the issues in the programme, please call this number for a help pack. Or something like that. Like, it would always be that kind of deep... That's like, fine. I'll set up a number and I'll put an Easter egg on it. Now, uh, there are two options if you want to set up uh, a thing like that. So I'm going to go into some code. There are two main companies who provide this. There is Twilio mm -hmm. and there is Nexmo. Mm -hmm. And Twilio are US-based and Nexmo are European. And like one's in dollars, one's in euros, uh, one optimizes for US traffic, one optimizes for EU. And there are many pros and cons between them, but only one of them has given me some free credit to play with. <laughs> that means I don't have to upgrade my account and put a credit card on there. So Twilio, thank you very much. Um, they gave me credit, like literally years ago at a hack day, someone gave me 20 bucks in Twilio credit. I've used maybe one over the years. And it's thought, well, you know, it's one cent per minute for a, hi. Um, it's, <laughs> it's one cent per minute for incoming calls. Right. So I figured I have got like 19 bucks of credit on here. It's a buck a month for a number. So I can handle 1,800 incoming calls with the free credit. Oh. And like next month, I've given me some free credit as well. But in order to use it, I'd have had to sign up and add a credit card. And also, it wasn't worth it right then. The hassle hurdle. The hassle hurdle, exactly. <laughs> See, David Hasselhoff's hassle hurdle. <laughs> I've just invented a TV format there. Um, <laughs> so set it up, and the other advantage of Twilio is that you can literally you just buy the number, and then they have some things called Twimlets. You just uh, take a Twimlets. Yep. You don't have to write much code for simple stuff. You just take the the URL they've produced, put it in there, give it a link to an MP3 file. It respects the caching on the file and everything like that. Hi, someone else who's uh, who's there. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> It respects the, the, yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, good, good. Thumbs up, mate. That's nice. That's, that's good. We're in a photo somewhere on the internet. Yeah, we are. If um, you see that photo, please tag us. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to see that photo, are you? Oh, right. Where was I? Um, Twimlets, yeah, apparently. Okay. So whatever it, they are. It takes, uh, the way Twilio works is you set up a number. When someone calls a number, it pings your web server, or in this case, it pings their Twimlet web server, so I didn't have to set up a web oh, server. It, it pulls some XML down. The difference is Nexmo uses JSON, Twilio, XML. Pulls that down, decides what to do, answers the call, does it. And it can play audio, it can record audio, it can forward you to another number, it can do interactive voice response. 
But all you did on this case was play audio. You weren't all I did anything. was play a number and disconnect. Um, I could have recorded samples or something like that. I didn't. So you just play the message and then just... Yep. Uh, because I figured if anyone's on the line for more than a minute, it's going to cost me more. Yeah. Side note and foreshadow. Twilio charged by the minute. Nexmo charged by the second for incoming calls. If I'd have gone with Nexmo, this would have ended up costing me about half as much because they were all 36 second calls. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, you can see where this is going. Um, set it up, play the, play the thing out, put the number on there. Uh, that number is now disconnected, it's gone. Uh, it'll get released back into the pool in a few months when no one's calling it anymore. And someone's going to get very confused in a year's time when, when they watch one that. person calls and gets someone else. Yeah. yeah. So it's fine. Goes in the video, goes up. And I figure that maybe we'll get a hundred or a couple of hundred calls. I'm guessing that it's an order of magnitude, if not two, from the look on your face here. 3,176 calls to that number. And I know that because my Twilio bill is $31.76. <gasps> less, yeah, <laughs> less, less the credit that, uh, that they gave me. Um, but it was sort of a few hours after the video went up and I've got to make this call. Like, are people going to keep calling this number? They just watch the funds tick up. I'm going to have to sign up. I'm going to have to actually put my credit card in here. I'm going to have to give them so thank you very much, Twilio. Uh, your, your free credit successfully suckered me into actually purchasing your services. Well done. Yes, yeah, still had to do the hustle hurdle. The hustle half hustle hurdle, yes. The hustle half hustle hurdle. Hassled you later on. Yes. Which brings me to one last thing. Uh, which is that I can run analysis on the numbers that have called us. Okay. Now, and I have done it, but I want to say, first of all, I obviously can't uh, play with the raw numbers myself because Data Protection Act stuff. Yeah. Twilio has the numbers that have called as part of their logs, but I set up a thing that basically anonymised them by knocking the last five digits down to zeros and then played with them. So I know the rough area the call came from. Uh, and Matt, have an Excel spreadsheet printout because those are the countries that we got calls from. Whoa. Yes. Anonymous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so if anyone withheld your number, um, it's not a free phone number, it was just a, a London number, so we don't... If, uh, by the way, you can't withhold your number to a free phone number. Oh, really? Nope, doesn't work. 141 or whatever the US equivalent is, doesn't work to those. Huh. But we didn't have a free phone number because that would have cost me three times as much. So... So two-thirds of the people that called are from the UK. That is unsurprising. It was a British it's number. A UK I number. didn't bother putting up uh, a US one. I am surprised it's not higher. A lot of people made international calls to talk to us. Or to, you know, get a recorded voicemail message that he didn't know about. Guess, I'll, I'll give you a few seconds now while I read this sheet to guess the top three European countries that called next. Yeah, and while he's working that out, I will let you know that this Excel sheet was a goddamn nightmare to put together. Have you ever tried to do prefix codes in Excel? There isn't a function for it. And also, the way that dialing codes work, um, you can have uh, plus four four, that's for Britain, but that means there is not, it, there's never going to be a plus four or a plus four four one. Like, it's it always, there's never, oh, any, there's never any ambiguity. It's always a non-ambiguous priest. Yes. So one can't affect another. Yes, which is great, except plus one. I was about to say, America's plus one, though. <laughs> yes. No, no what, yes it is. Canada is plus one. Most of Latin America and the Caribbean is plus one. Really? Yes. Well, oh yeah, but I thought that was a country code. Yes, so did I. <laughs> guess, guess what I found out. Guess, guess who's got a long rant about telephone numbers lined up? Are so, we going to do that for next week? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the week after. <laughs> so, uh, someone actually emailed me saying, "Can you explain the UK phone numbering system?" And I can't do that as a regular video. I can just do that as a long rant. To camp actually, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> country. So uh, I said top three, and they're all from Europe. Oh, can I, wait. I, I misread. One of them's not from Europe. So okay. we have <laughs> UK, US, yeah. and then Australia. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Then the Netherlands. Yep. Yeah, okay. Then Germany. Mm hmm. What's the next European one then? Because then we've actually got the top three Europeans, so we can set, set it up and. Uh... There'll now be a brief pause while Matt works this out. That's that's the thing with those. Then there's a big gap where everything's about the yeah. same. So I was going to say China, but that's not in Europe, <laughs> is it? <laughs> point being, point being, a lot of people called us. Thank you very much. Sweden. Uh, Sweden. 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 Thank you very much. We we I I don't think either of us realised quite 
how much, like, I don't want to use the word influence because that implies we are influencers and I don't like that, but that's, I mean, a lot of people. And also, um, I'd, I'd say it's more, I, I would guess it was a, they know how to do a joke. There's going to be a joke on that number. I yeah, want to hear that joke. Yeah, it, and to be fair, it would have been a lot. Because I rang it. I had no idea you were doing it. I had to ring it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The first thing you knew about it when you were adding metadata to the video. Yeah, and I looked to see, I looked to see if it was an Ofcom number because that's the first yeah. thing I thought it were doing. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's a real number. Oh God, what's he done? Yeah, that's, that <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah, uh, and also while we're talking about influence, um, Dr. Finkel's Kickstarter, Ooh. which sounds a lot like Dr. Finley's casebook. Now I mention it. Um, I don't get that reference. Only about two people will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I went for it anyway. Yes, thank you to everyone that has kickstarted the Kickstarter because it started. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, we, I think uh, they're aiming for £10,000, they're on 15000 and a lot of that is you folks, so thank you very much. Um, again, this was, we didn't really realise, I, I was genuinely expecting an order of magnitude less, same as I was with the phone calls, that it was going to be, you know, we're going to send uh, maybe a, a couple dozen people as well, and it looks like hundreds. So that's, uh, that's really nice, thank you very much for that. Maybe we should get more academics on the bench. You know what? I would like people, like anyone who could teach us a yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what can, I was thinking as well. Can you teach us something, regardless of what that is? It may not even have to be on a park bench. If you can be found out how to fold a decent paper aeroplane, because... Uh, that was a lot less than I was expecting. Yeah, it to same be. here. That I, actually went that way. Yeah. I'll take it. Sh shall we end the video on such a disappointing <laughs> success? <laughs> Yeah, I got nothing else to add. Like we, we worked ourselves up, but it just just Shall I summarise the video? Yeah, go on. You what have we what have we learned on the show today, Matt? You rang us more than he thought you were going to. That meant he spent more money than he thought he was going to, but it was only about a tenner. He can't make planes that fly straight. But straighter than one would expect. I have nothing to add. And that just just sort of petered out there, didn't it? It's Peter. <laughs>